Okay. Today is Tuesday. Alright, what's up, guys? Happy Tuesday. Only two more days left of the year. Is that right? Or three? Oh, yeah, you got today, you got Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, we're That's live. It. Okay. Two more full days. So today's lesson. Today's lesson is, as you can see, is weld versus weld. How are you going to get yourself weld? Now, when I weld, sometimes you never weld and you don't weld, right? I do weld. Oh, yeah? I'm, I'm not on a job, but I have my welding license, yes. Well, that's great. Good for you. Yeah. So, sometimes when you're welding, you're like really out of position. You have to find that inner position. And let's say just for a minute, you're like doing an overhead and you gotta like be in a spot where you're really twisting. Yeah? Try and do that. You ever do that? It's hard, right? Yeah. So that's where the spinal health comes in. It's like you gotta be, you gotta be snaky, you gotta be like able to worm your way in there. Yeah, you know. You know, and your neck, especially. Now I had a neck injury. I got over it. I don't know if I'm a hundred, hundred percent good, but anyway, let's do a little opening up. Watch your head on that bike down. Yeah, I will. Actually, maybe we could use these to, to stabilize ourselves. So we're gonna do a spinal twist, and again, we're gonna we're gonna like twist it open on both ways, and then uh, we're gonna do a little compression. And again, the idea is find your center in your kidney zone, right? Try not to be like this. Try to come through and back and around this way. And that'll give you a little bit more okay. core, core connection. All right. So let's do some of these. Try to keep your hips facing me, and just don't don't move your hips so much. Just yeah, just do like this is perpendicular, right? Perpendicular. Bam. So because if this doesn't move, then your spine is going to be a little bit tighter. Okay. Right. Bring your arms out. And then feel it now. Turn your head also, all the way. Turn the spine, and now just turn as much as you can. You can bend. Try to go all the way around if you want to grab onto this thing for security. Yeah. Okay, so now, yeah. nice and loose. Oh yeah. Let's unravel the shoulders. Come through again. Now pretend you're going to weld overhead and pull up through here, like the machine. Can you feel that yeah. space in there that you're not really used to? Or feel yeah, different? It's, it's, it feel? feels I feel a little tightness in my kidney area, like this one. Bam. All right. All right. So now let's say you're going to weld around and just try to find that spot and weld around. Let's say you're doing a pipe. All right. And just twist around and pull it through all the way through. So mark yourself and then come back around. Get any cracks or pops in your spine? Uh, no, but I got a nice stretch though. Yeah, right. it's a good stretch. If you keep stretching, ooh, it's good, yeah. You probably will pop, because what the pop is, is um, the release of nitrogen gas in your, it gets built up in your joints. Uh huh. It's like if you ever open a, a jar, yeah. and you go, all that air sucks in. Right, yeah. It's sort of like that. It's like when you stretch your uh -huh. thing. Are you ready for this? Ooh, you heard of that? You know that? That's opening up. It's like take a straw, you know, the, the bendy straw. Yeah. And you pull that open. Right. That's like how your spine. Uh, sometimes it's compressed. Sometimes you, you pop it open, and when you pop it open, you have more mobility. Right. So that's how you get weld. Yeah. Is you keep your spinal health in control, and you stay erect and connected. Sorry. And, uh, you know, just walk around, breathe down, pump up, stand tall, and uh, that's the, 
his final help, I don't know if you know, but when all the, when you have a good posture, the space inside of your body for all of your organs to work, is there's room in there. If you're walking around like this, everything's crushed. And if you're, the synapses in your brain that take, send the signals to your organs are bound up, right? Yeah. Then the synapses aren't going to work as bad, right, right, right. as efficiently. They can't flow that good. Yeah. Everything's all. Because yeah. energy, when you get down to it, listen, as, as a welder, come in closer. Yeah. As a welder, like I touched on one other time, we're dealing with energy and we're melting fucking metal. That's how much energy is in a, in a welding rod or wire or whatever you're welding. Yeah. And uh, so again, this is posture and breath, but it's really energy. And the energy in your brain, the thoughts in your brain, they are electric and all these impulses are electric impulses. And so when your energy level is uh, heightened or clarified or um, turned up a notch, go to 11, guess what? You're gonna weld hot, and, and shit's gonna come out nice, yeah, shiny, right. And uh, you burn out all the, the impurities, right, 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 right. So this is where iron core style, the correlation, is uh, it's really hitting hitting home with the metal, okay? Mm -hmm. Because listen, I'm a metalhead, and uh, to me it goes a lot deeper than just I don't know, like this is my job. I fucking, I'm gonna, I'm steel kneel. Okay, metal steel is my meal. metal is my way. It is the way, as that guy says, the man. The Mandalorian. For me, it is the way. Anyway, so that's our lesson for today. If you don't weld well, you're missing out, because to me, a day without sunshine, or a day without welding, is like a day without sunshine. <laughs> See the joke there? Yeah, nice, nice. Because yeah. it's so fucking bright. Right in there, yeah. Anyhow, right. that's what we wanted to say today. We'll try and hit you again up tomorrow with another the trifecta of knowledge. It's going to be called Steel versus Steel. On New Year's Eve's Eve. Uh, and we'll save that for tomorrow. Anyway, enjoy <laughs> the rest of this year. Later, guys.